Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela again today. Um, what I thought I'd do was show you how I put together a, a pocket. Um, one of these pockets here, um, part of one of the signatures I'm working on for a journal at the moment. Um, and what it is basically, it's a pocket that you make with one piece of paper. Um, I'll show you how to fold that and then of course you can decorate it and put in tags, journal cards or any other bits of uh, ephemera that you choose to put in. So that's what I'm, I thought I'd show you how to do today. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has done this kind of pocket. I know that with all the sorts of things that we do normally it's unlikely that this is some unique thing. Um, I don't know of anybody myself, but I'm sure there is somebody who has done something similar. But this is just my take on whatever that is. Uh, all right, so let's get going. So I'll put this to one side um, and start straight away. So what you would need, first of all, is just a piece of paper. I'm going to use this printout here from Antique Papery. Um, I think this is called... Victorian heirloom no Victorian romance sorry got it quite a while ago so I'm not sure if it's still available but it was one of the first ones I ever bought from antique papery um, on Etsy so this is what I'm going to use now because I'm in the UK and this is an A4 piece of paper they print out from the US at eight and a half by eleven so it doesn't matter um, you don't need to trim that off it just forms part of what we're going to make anyway, and you're not going to see it anyway. Right, so here's the piece of paper. So first thing that you need to do is put on your glasses, Angela, so you can see what you're doing, because I'm old. Right, so let's turn this piece of paper over. And the first thing I'm gonna do is bend over about, just short of half an inch or one centimeter, that edge there. So I'm just going to do it like that. Don't know if you can see me. Just folded that over. Use my bone folder just to make it nice and smooth. So that's what we've done there. Just one piece so far. All right. So now, um, what I did was. Now, obviously, you can. One thing I should say, you can make it to. Let me get that book back. Um, to tuck in either side, so you can either have it that way or that way. Um, you are able to have a tuck spot over here as well, or if you wanted to that side, just depending which way you want to do it. So, obviously, that's up to yourself. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to think about how I did this, <laughs> which helps, yeah. Right, so <clears throat> what we'll do is we're going to have a piece over here, which is where we want to put all of our, um, I did it this way, didn't I, bits and pieces. So that looks about how I want it. And because this bit is stuck down, it's it's quite forgiving. Um, so that will be the side there, and then what I want to do is I'm going to use that bit and tuck it underneath here. Now, yeah, that's about it. Yep. All right, so I just like to line it up on my board, make sure it's straight, because I'm painful like that. Right. Let's just do that. Okay, and there we have a piece like that. Now it's always good just to check that this does in fact fit on your page. It's not gonna to be too wide or whatever. Obviously it is too long. So I will need to chop a bit off there, which I'll get to in a sec. All right, so there we go. All right, I'm gonna use it this side so I can tuck in things from there. Just want to make sure this is all nice and cool that's fine and now what i need to do is take off about an inch so i'm going to do it a little bit from each side 
So let's do that. The knife. Right. Um, I think I'm going to take... Sorry. Did any of you end up doing any shopping today? I mean, it's the 23rd of December today. I went to the shops this morning and it was horrific. I mean, I'm not a, a people fan, to be honest. Or I'm not piles of people in the morning or any time of day. I try and avoid it at all costs. But today it was awful, I must say. It was really horrible. I'm glad I'm done. So I hope that you are all sorted for the festive season too. Terrible to be going into the shops again now. <laughs> right, let's put that aside. Right, so there we have our pocket. We will, Once this is stitched down, etc., we'd be able to put in a, um, a tag or a journaling card here. And depending which side you stick it, you could have a spot there or a spot there if we glue it down there. Right, so the very next thing to do is just to glue down. I'm going to use my glue stick um, and I'm just going to run some glue on that end there and then on this end here. You don't have to do this, I suppose, but if you aren't going to stitch it, I would do it. Um, as I do like my stitching, I am going to stitch, um, but I've prepared that bit. But of course, you don't have to stitch everything, you know, not everybody has a sewing machine and that's fine. You could just glue uh, a line there and a line there. Right, so we've got that bit stuck out, down and this flap here, which is what we want to decorate on as well. All right, so let's start with that. Now... <clears throat> What you would do is, um, I have found two little cards that I'm going to use. These come from um, Amity Bloom's Botanical Cards. Um, I love her colours and her pastel shades go well with what I like to do. So I thought I would put two of those down on here. Um, and then I also thought that what I would do beforehand is use this, which is Artie Mays's Collage. I think it's collage one um, these colors I thought I'd put it onto a little bit of a backing before I stuck those down so what I'm gonna do is there if you want to ink please do I'm not gonna ink so um, what I would do is find my tear ruler um, oops. I'd stick this down like this Again, how well you do that and, and the glue you choose, just make sure that you use a good glue. Um, I would stitch around that as well because that's just what I do. Um, not everybody likes that or is able to do that. And then just using my ruler, just pull that off like that. All right, so let's just see here. And there we go that just gives it a really nice backing and makes it stand out a bit so when I put it on there it just gives it a nicer finish and again you can ink around there if you want to um, I, I go for a very light inking not very much at all. In fact, it just takes away the stark white edges from the tearing. That's the only reason I do it at all. As you can see, it's hardly anything at all. All right, so I would stitch around the edge there, which I'll show you now. So I'm not going to bore you with doing that twice. But that is what I would do there. So let's put that aside. Um, here you can see I've actually backed these onto the paper and I have stitched around the sides like that I just like the finish that it gets all right um, and then again with this I like to stitch so you need to stitch this side first if you're going to stitch it um, and then when that once that's stitched you can stitch right round all sides if you're not going to stitch then all you need to do is put some glue 
along there I would use something stronger like this um, but whatever your glue of choice stick there and there and stick that down firmly like that all right so that's what I would suggest you do with that one there okay seeing as I have done that oops um, what I've done here is I have already stitched as you can see right round the sides so now we have our pocket there um, and to me I just like the finish that it presents uh, that it gives it so there we go that's that now what I need to do is very quickly is just put these stick these down like that so as I've stitched them already I wouldn't stitch it again um, um, I would just take my Uh, three in one and do all of this is anybody doing anything exciting for the holidays I mean there's so many different holidays for different religions going on at the moment um, there's so much going on everybody's doing something aren't they um, if I had my way I'd you know do as little as possible except craft anything that gets in the way of my crafting hmm. <laughs> my kids will say mom right so let's stick that there line that up I'm just um, eyeballing it hopefully it's straight okay so there we have our put that on there for a minute <clears throat> right so now finishing touches I've decided and here this will surprise you to put some butterflies on here so I quite fancy the little bit of pink that's sticking out so I've decided I'm going to stick a little pink butterfly over there and I'm going to stick a little yellow one like that over there so let's put those on as well so there's that. I mean, I could have put a little bit of muslin underneath this as well, but I thought, okay, don't overdo it. So it would drive you all mad with all the fussing I do. I just don't know when to stop. That's my problem. I just want to go on and on and on. Right. So there we go. We've got our little butterflies on there. I hope you can see that. I think it just sort of brings other colours through and just gives it another bit of a dimension there. Right, so... Because I don't know when to stop. Now they need their little bodies. Chris, you know, make it festive. Let's make it festive here. So we're going to have a little dot there. And a little dot there. And I think I've got glue across the whole thing. What is, am I like? Oh, we'll get that off. Right, there we go. Right, so just put a little bit more glue on there. And then what I do is I just take one of these. And I put it on there. Maneuver that in place. And then another one of these. Good thing I've got my glasses on and then I just tap it down and tap that down make sure it's where I want it there we go right so there we go we've got all that in place so we're we doing well very quick this now all, all that all remains to be done is to stick this onto a page so if I have to bring this back quickly just to find a blank page let's we could actually just stick this like that over there for example so how I would do that is I would hold the side and I would glue those three sides there and then I would stick that into onto my page like that so that way you've got a tuck spot there 
and of course a tuck spot there so that's what I would do with that one there uh, I can't pick up the signature now right so let's just take that away Right, so that's what we would do there. So then all that you would do is um, finish, is, is I've made a collage uh, journal card here, just with bits of scraps and things. Put a bit of wallpaper on the top there. So um, one of Amity Bloom's quotes, which I really love, and I've stitched around that. So onto some ivory card. So that just goes in there. And whatever else you want to put in there, whatever that might be. And there we have it. That's our pocket with our journal card in it. Right. So I hope that's been helpful. I just want to take this opportunity to wish you all really happy holidays and a wonderful festive season, no matter what religion you're following. Um, I hope you all have lovely, spent some great time with the family and that you also find time to craft if that's what you want to do as well. Um, I hope to be doing quite a few more videos um, than normal for me because I am off for um, a week or so. So I'm hoping to get in some more craft time. So thank you for spending this time watching me craft and I hope to see you here back again soon. I'll say happy holidays, everybody. See you very soon. Bye.